Hello and welcome back to the Van Revo server. Now today I've got a little project up top, all the way up there. And this seems to be one of the things that I'm working on quite a lot at the moment. But, you know, I'm sorry if you guys are getting bored of this, you tell me. But I'm having so much fun building things up there. I just... It's, it's the one thing I want to do. I've got about five more things I want to stack in there before I even consider it to be done. So, today, I am actually going to move the villager breeder from way out over there. Over there. And I'm going to build it up top, up there. And I'm going to build it in the sort of style of an Impulse SV one. If you know that style, that's basically where you've got a big area for the food to be grown. And then a couple of villagers in there. And then the young villagers run off into a corner and drop down a chute and get collected up elsewhere. Now I'm going to be doing it in the style of that. So I'm going to have the platform where they're going to grow the food and all that kind of thing. I'm going to do a little bit of redstoney stuff and some clever villagey stuff. I hope clever anyway. We'll find out later. It might not work. <laughs> um, but the idea is that I'm going to do an off switch where you just pull a lever and the villager, the detector villager, is going to drop down out of range of the doors and then that's going to switch off the entire breeder because that's going to collapse the village that's there. Okay? So rather than having a choker or anything like that to just stop the villagers coming through, I'm just going to have an off switch where the villager drops down below the doors far enough that he can't see them anymore. The doors become unregistered, the village vanishes, and then they stop breeding. So that's the entire plan really. And I'm going to do a little, a few adaptations to the design as well because I know the Impulse SV one, it's one which I really, really like, but what you tend to find is they don't always clear off the platforms. So you've got your big platform here with a couple of villagers in, they breed, your baby villager doesn't manage to go down the chute and you end up with three villagers in here and then they breed and then, you know, you just get lots and lots of babies and they all stay up on the platform and you end up with a lot of breeding villagers and not much control over it anymore. So I want to keep massive control over this, I want this to be very controlled. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to get a few materials together, go up there and start the build. And I need to think about where the villagers are going to go down and where the redstone's going to go for, you know, stopping them. And I'm sort of feeling like round this side here would be a good idea because I sort of feel like this is the back of the build right now. Let's just come over here. Lots of holes in the ground. Be a little bit careful. Yeah, you don't really see this side of the build. You usually see it from that side, and over in that direction is spawn. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some redstoney stuff on this side, sort of running up the outside. I'm going to try and make it look kind of pretty. And yeah, so that is the plan. So I'm going to get a few things together, and we'll be back in a moment. Okie dokie. So this is where the doors are going to go at this height. So this is where the village centre is going to be. Now, the reason I've brought it all the way up here is because then it's definitely 64 blocks clear of my villagers below. So it's a long way out of range of that. It's not going to affect the farms that I've already got down there. So the breeder is just going to start off up here. So this is where the doors are going to go. Then the villager, who is going to be doing the detecting, needs to go below this somewhere. Now, I can't remember the exact distances, but I'll work that out in a bit. And then the actual farm is going to be six blocks above this. Okay, so maybe I can just sort of start putting those in place now. So if that's the floor, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So this should be the dirt layer. So let's just switch that out for a piece of that. And then I think underneath the dirt layer, we can actually just go straight in with the never rack. I don't think it matters too much, because you're not really going to see this layer at all. Whoops, that's not good, that needs to go. There we go. Yeah, so something like that. So the detector doors here, the detector villager below that with the redstone on a piston pushing him up and down so that he can either see these doors or not. And then the actual village, or the actual breeder area, above that. Now the way that I want to make this work is that the actual farming area is going to be set back by maybe two or three blocks behind the outside of this. And then all the way around the outside we can just have sort of open areas so that the villager can 
well, I say open area, something at head height so that the tall villagers can't get past that and the young villagers can run straight underneath it. Okay, so I'm going to need to do some measurements and work out exactly where I want everything to go. But uh, yeah, that's the general plan. So let's go get some dirt and some more blocks and all sorts of things <laughs> and get this started. Okay, this is what we've now got. I've got a very big platform for the dirt, for the harvest to go on. And I'm going to be adding some stuff to that a little bit later on. Um, but also around the edges, I've now got some water streams in the corners. So what I decided was to have the water streams come in around about eight blocks and then push the baby villagers into each corner there like that. And then they're going to drop straight down to, let's see, I'm going to have to go a little bit carefully here. So over to, <laughs> they're going to drop down on top. Oh, I can't see it. Well, you get the idea. They're going to drop down quite a distance and then I'm going to gather them up at the bottom and deal with them down there rather than try and deal with them up here um, because I don't want them hanging around in this area too long because they might register the doors and might slow down the efficiency of this thing. And I don't want it to be ultra efficient, but um, I also don't want it to be ultra inefficient, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, I like it to do what I expect it to do. So this is what I've got so far. I'm going to continue adding in some glass around at this level. I'm going to be using a lot more glass for this. So that's my next job, filling the glass around the outside. And then after that, what am I going to do? I might just get some villagers up here and turn all this into farmland, ready for them to plant up and do what they need to do to get breeding. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to fill in this row here and then get some villagers in from over there or whatever it is. Okay, so we'll see you in a bit. Right, so I've gone ahead and built up like a little runway to try and get these villagers over there. And... I think it's going to be safe. I'm just going to put a little roof on here just to make sure. Um, because I really don't want them es escaping. That would just be a pain. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, let's just try this. If I just break straight through here. And then there. And then I'm going to get washed away. But let's see if I can get this bucket in and out, like that. Really? I thought I thought I nailed that one. Um, okay. I guess I need to do something a little bit different. So, let's take that block out next and see what happens. Oh, goodness, the fear. I just don't want these villagers spraying everywhere. That would be a real mess. Hey, and here we go, they're spraying in the right direction, which is towards me. Right, okay, so, I should get in range of my beacon any second now, and then I can jump up and out, perfect. Right. Yeah, this is going okay. So, if I do that, and just get my jump boost, yeah, lovely. I've still got a couple of them stuck in there, but that's not a big problem. And I've obviously got these ones that have just been bred up as well. So, let's take that out and just remove that water source. Right, grand. So, I've got all of my villagers moving along now. I've just got to um, finish shifting them, really. I think I'm just going to do it like this and move them inch by inch, almost. Wow, they are difficult to move now. They push back so hard. I mean, look at that, I've hardly got them to move any distance at all. Look at all these librarians as well. There's probably a great few trades in here. Oh. Huh? <laughs> that was silly of me. Uh, uh, uh. There. There? No, there. Out. Right, so what's the time of day? And... Have I killed my computer? Because this shouldn't be happening. Oh, right, there we go. Suddenly, lots of action. Okay, so my computer caught up with whatever it was doing. Um, now, there's a lot of villagers in here. I definitely don't need all of them to go up there, do I? So, 
Maybe I just try and grab a couple at a time and move them forward. Yeah, this is going to take a little bit of time, guys, so I'm going to get on with this and we'll see you back here in a minute or two. Right, so I've managed to move my villagers, I think all of them except for one, all the way from over there to down here. And I've got my water elevator set up, so I'm just going to go and ride this all the way down and just see that it all goes in the right direction. I think I can leave that one out, it doesn't really matter. So, yeah, this is what I've done. Let's get an empty hand and just go through and break all of this ice. This is by far the easiest way to make a water elevator. Now, the problem is, this is probably going to take ages to get to the bottom because <laughs> it's quite high. Um, but when I get down there, I should land in a load of villages. So, let's do this. Right, we're nearly there. I can see them now. So, maybe got one more to go. Right, and we're in. Right, so. <laughs> this is a mess. What a mess. Okay, so. I've got to find a way to just get these guys to shift. And hopefully not drown them all as I do that. Now. <laughs> uh, uh. Did any of them go up? I don't know, but it, f it feels like there's fewer down here now. Right, so, yeah, let's see what's happening over there. Yeah, it looks like we're getting them going up. So this is going to take some time, guys, so I'm going to let this do its thing and um, probably follow them all the way up there and see what's going on at the top just to make sure that I haven't killed every single last one of them by doing this. Um, but yeah, we'll see. There we go, last one going up. So, <laughs> let's uh, disable this and make sure that nothing else can get up there other than me. Right, I'm going up. Right, I've just followed them all up here. And yes, I think that looks like we're good. So, yeah, I think that's okay. So, I've got a few more things to do, but this has taken quite a while already today, guys. So, I'm just going to say, thank you very much for watching. Let's take this off. Ooh, there we go. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and if you did, please do leave a like, and I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye!